too lonely, too long. Uh, that's Justin Trevino. Two arms, two lips, and two hips. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Frank Anderson. How you doing, pal? Good morning, HD. You sound in choice this morning. <laughs> well, I got a good night's sleep. I had some Moscato <laughs> wine when I uh, went to bed last night and had a little nightcap. The Bobby Mackey got me hooked on that stuff, Moscato, Moscato wine. I might turn into a wine I, I know exactly what you're talking about. That's, a, that's an Italian wine, <laughs> and uh, Moscato is excellent. You bet your boots it is. And I want to say good morning to a lady that told me about a special a special brand of Moscato, and they're up there in central city, Nebraska, Lance and Charlotte Regner. And Mr. Frank Anderson, folks, he's the owner of EarsRadio1.com. And tonight from 9 to 11 p.m., then your old community coffee drinking pal HD is going to be on there. Has everything been going good for you? Everything so far, you know, I'm still got on the right side of the grass, you know. <laughs> That's right. That's important too, right? <laughs> I wanted to mention to you, HD, I, I was sitting listening to you this morning and, and listening to Warner Mack. My God, what a prolific writer he was. Oh, yeah, absolutely, and a genuine jewel of a guy. And I was supposed to get up there to the Nashville nursing home to see him, and I didn't make it. There's just so many hours in a day and so many days in a week, you know, and I was working all night patrol back then, and that made it hard to get away. Yep, I was there several times there, just north of Nashville, and uh, saw him many times, and, and he was just... The sweetest guy, uh, never complained. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Florine. Florine is his cousin who was the strongest supporter and, and spent so much time with him and took care of all of his needs. So Florine Magnus. Absolutely. We need to get her on the air some of these mornings and thank her on the air for all of that. And, I probably uh, could means that for you. I've got an old boy. Uh, his name is Arnold Connolly. He's, I think, in Nashville, and we're going to be getting him on the air in a little bit. Say good morning to Arnold. He's listening this morning. Okay, yeah. I know Rooster, uh, Arnold Connolly, and he's in New Jersey generally. He's out there mining rocks and stuff, you know, but uh, he's a Kentucky boy. I think he did tell me that, actually, that he was up in Jersey. And did, did you notice that nobody in the history of mankind has ever gone to New Jersey on vacation? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're going to enter a hot dog eating contest. <laughs> I've got a couple of folks there. They're dear friends of mine, and they go to all of the Western Swing functions. That's old Arnold bumping in there right now, but I can't take that call right now. Arnold, if you're listening, just hang tight. But Bob and Sue are up in La Plata, Maryland, and they're fine folks. They they listen every morning. Say good morning to them. <laughs> good morning. It, it, that's, that son of a gun had a, a, a recording studio there in Nashville off Briley Parkway. Right. Make sure you talk to him about that. Uh, I will. And, and brother, you, you have yourself a good morning, and thank you for all you do for all of us disc jockeys and all of the artists on EarsRadio1.com. It's always my pleasure, HD. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, brother. Mr. Frank Anderson, and we're going to be... Uh, we're going to be dialing up Arnold. He was beeping in. He was right on time, too. 6.30 sharp. Good morning there, HD. Hey, buddy, was your ears burning? I had uh, Mr. Frank Anderson, the owner of EarsRadio1.com, on the air with me, and we were talking about you. You're up in New Jersey, right? Yes, sir. I'm in New Jersey, and I'm glad to be on KBEF, 104.9 <laughs> FM. And Minden, Louisiana. <laughs> you bet. Have you ever been to Minden? No, sir. Never been to Minden. I've been to New Orleans twice. <laughs> what did you do down in New Orleans? Can you talk well, about I, it? No, I can't talk about stuff that's, like that, man. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh, mercy. You're, uh, you're a dear friend to a, a dear friend of mine. I'm one of my brothers in broadcasting, and he's, uh, he's a jewel. Scott Weichel, and he's one of the best broadcasters in the business, and he's professional in every regard. Mr. Scott and I, uh, uh, HD, he and I have a kind of like a brotherhood. We both recorded in the same studio in Nashville. And uh, how I met Scott, uh, I actually sent him some of my music just kind of blindly. Uh -huh. And uh, he said, yeah, I'll play your stuff. And then kind of find out, we both recorded in the same studio. And then later on, 
in 2018, he and I actually recorded a harmony together on one of my songs, It's Not Easy Going Home. Right. And uh, so it was awesome. Yeah, Scott's a great guy. You betcha. And you're an old Kentucky boy. That's what Mr. Frank told me there. Originally, you were from old KY up there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I grew up around the Paducah, Kentucky, Benton, Kentucky area. And I went to school at uh, UK, University of Kentucky. So don't hold that against me. They're LSU fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And my wife's, my, my wife's a true hillbilly. She's from southeast Kentucky. Yep, that's correct. Uh, you're up there. You're running heavy equipment up there on the job, right? Uh, well, actually, uh, I, I run at it. Uh, I, I actually manage the quarry up here. I, work, I manage a rock quarry up here in uh, Sparta, right. New Jersey, and uh, about 50 miles northwest of New York City. Uh, to your knowledge, has anyone ever gone on vacation to New Jersey? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I've got a. I, I have a lot of fun with that, but you know, I'll have to say, I think that's Route 301, US 301. It comes across you know, the Chesapeake Bay and, and and beautiful area up there. I've got some friends listening this morning in La Plata, Maryland. Beautiful country, and actually, a lot of New Jersey is beautiful as well, especially Southern New Jersey. They have a lot of dairy farms down there. For the you know, a lot of people don't know that, but but I've been all up through there. I think that's 301. It comes out there to Wilmington and hits the uh, Jersey Turnpike. If my my memory is not what it used to be there rooster i you know i've been down too many dark roads <laughs> well let me tell you i live up in the northwest part of the state and it's a lot like southeast kentucky and east tennessee there's mountains and yeah uh, the delaware river it's really uh you know new, new jersey's called the garden state uh, yeah. for a reason that's right and it really is a pretty state now you, obviously if you get closer to the city uh if, you know, some people like that. That's not my cup of tea. But you know, I can be in Manhattan in an hour and fifteen minutes. I can be in downtown New York City. And being a Southern boy as I am, I never thought in a million years I'd be in the New York City <laughs> metro area. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Tell us about this song, Rooster. Where did you get that? Did you write it yourself? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm a I'm a songwriter. The Rooster is just a, it was a handle given to me or a nickname given to me when I first became a manager in my early days uh, in Gall Condo, Illinois. The guys up there said, oh, you look like a rooster. So, uh, you know, what roosters do and being the boss, you know. So <laughs> I thought about that and and, and, and played, played with the words. And uh, through the years, I've been in mining. Uh, coal mine, I was a coal miner from 1992 until 1996. Right. right. And uh, I was, I've been in mining for 31 years. And uh, so I wrote that song and uh, decided I want to record it. And I, I did in Nashville uh, at uh, Mystic Studio right there behind the Nashville Palace with uh, right. uh barry wayne and Ladonna brewer caps a lot of people might not know the Ladonna, but anyway uh you know i recorded it down there and and i never really thought it was kind of a joke to be honest but it's kind of taken off and, and people know me by the rooster so i just stuck with it <laughs> 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 i first heard it on scott's show and uh, scott's been so nice to share music with me do you get off to go different places every now and then like maybe houston texas or maybe uh maybe wilder kentucky i've got a reason for asking that well i do i Actually, I do a lot of traveling in my former jobs. I've been in mining 31 years. I used to do a lot of traveling around the country some, and I do get out some. I mean, I make time, like uh, I'll be in Atlanta, Georgia, for the International Singer Songwriter Association this weekend on Saturday. Right. I'm flying down Friday, I'm flying down tomorrow. I'm staying a week, and I'll be back late Sunday night. Well, do me a favor while you're there. Say hello to Joy Adams. She's an Australian disc jockey, and she took okay. part in the Twin Spins Among DJ Friends, and I still owe her a show. I stay busy myself, but also we have an award show. Uh, the CMF Texas Award Show got a pre awards party on the 17th of october the show itself is going to be on the 18th of october in the motel over there where we're going to all stay they're going to throw us an after awards show party so we're going to be having a blast and then we'll be in nashville uh a couple of days after that actually for the josie awards up there at the opera house on sunday night my radio show is nominated this year oh and, that's uh, awesome so maybe you can maybe you can come yeah. to one of those uh, functions cmafexas.com to find out about the ticket information and all of that now, is that October 17th, you say? October the 17th is the pre-award show party, and then on the okay. 18th we'll have the uh, award show and then the after-awards party at the motel, and it's uh, uh, going to be just a big old party, and we're just going to have a great time down there. Also, I'm going to be doing a live radio show at Bobby Mackey's. Uh, well, actually, I, I started to say at his honky-tonk, we're going to be at City Hall, Miss Valerie Jones, the mayor of Wilder, Kentucky. Uh, we're going to be uh, there. We're going to have some folks uh, on the air with me, Jeannie Max Lane. In Fort Worth, Texas, her husband, her late husband, was a great writer, Jerry Max Lane. Uh, but uh, ah. come down there and be with us. They're having a music fest in the park. And uh, so Donnie Banks is going to be on board there and a lot of other people. So if you make it down that way, bring your guitar. Oh, absolutely. I would. You know, um, 
I'll, I'll see what I can do. What a lot of times, you know, because I live in a nice area with a lot of airports, you know, I live, you know, in a yeah. metro area that's blessed yeah. with a lot of airports. So a lot of times I'll fly in for a day or so and just fly right back. So, you know, cause I, uh, music is my passion, but mining is how I make a living. And, right. uh, so I, you know, I got to work, but, uh, you know, always mining allows me to pursue my, my passion. And, I got you, Bob. Yeah. One good thing about it, if you do decide to come down to the award show, you know, log on to cmftexas.com, and you'll see ticket information on all of that. It's in a sure. place called the do do and it's in the woodlands, and the, well, I guess they call it the George Bush Airport. Now, it used to be the Inter- oh. Intercontinental Airport there in Houston, Texas. That's near, yeah. that's near where we're going to all be, and so well, it wouldn't you know, be a long ride. You know, HD, I uh, have a friend of mine who lives in Houston, Texas. I've been wanting to go down there, and Ronnie Millsap's got that song, I Have a Houston Solution in Mind. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe, maybe I have a Houston Solution in mind, right? There you go. Well, look, I'm going to play this song, and I appreciate you getting up so early. And, uh, again, Mr. Frank Anderson is listening this morning. Say hello to Mr. Frank before we bail off here. I'll do that, Mr. Frank and Cherokee Tom and Commander Norm and DJ Jan of Ears Radio. You bet you boots. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. All right, bud. Take care. All right. And uh, that is uh, uh, Arnold Connolly this morning, and I got his song, and I want to make sure I hit the right button like this one. time there Arnold Connolly this morning and I appreciate you coming on there at the last minute notice there pal and I've got some temperatures from up in the corn patch 67 degrees in Ethingham Illinois that came in from